Hey guys, this is Tua and I'm with Ryan. Uh, we are here with Vapor Honey Technologies and today we are going to be blasting this 1970 Triumph part. And Ryan, so what, what are we going to be blasting this in? So we're going to be using glass beads to actually finish this up. So we're going to get that nice polished finish and I'm actually excited to be doing this because we're getting back to our roots here. For those of you that don't know, Jonathan, when he started Vapor Honing, it was actually mainly for these aluminum motorcycle pieces because this is the best process out there to shine these things up without damaging them. So, like I said, I'm excited to uh, show you guys how this thing's going to look using our VH1000HD and to bring this piece back to the way it's intended to look. Just want to stop real quick, and I actually did hit this side a little bit, but I want to show you guys the difference. I know this part did not look too dirty beforehand, but you can actually see how we're polishing this side in comparison to this, this dirtier side. And actually when we had it sitting on the table, like I said, it did not look that bad. But as you guys can see, it's looking so much better. And we've only been doing this for maybe a minute up to this point. So I'm gonna get back to it. I am actually just rinsing this part off and this thing is already looking outstanding. There are a few areas that I want to touch up, like down inside of this crevice here, a little bit around this face. Everything on the sides looks excellent though. But what I'm actually going to do is turn the pressure down and go back over this piece and allow it to just kind of like roll the abrasive on it and hopefully brighten up that aluminum even more than it already is. So. Should see some pretty excellent results here in a little bit. I cannot wait to set this thing beside the other one. This is going to look freaking amazing. But you know those TV shows that you have that are like the before and afters of the home? And all like the, the car restoration ones? That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. It's like here it was in its dilapidated, terrible state. And then here it is with a state-of-the-art finish. Yeah, let's get this thing back over there. I can't wait to see it beside the other one. Well guys, two is back. So, what do you think of how this piece turned out? Actually, I haven't seen it yet. Let me see it. I was shocked oh, at how yeah. well that turned out. I was expecting it to be darker. How long did but, it take you? Oh, probably 20 minutes. To do the, well, the burnishing took longer. Yeah, yeah. But to actually blast it and go over everything, it was 20 minutes. But like, it, the burnishing is really what lightened this part up to where it's got that nice shine. It has a really smooth touch to it. Oh, it's smooth. Compared to yeah, the... You can feel the difference yeah. between the one that we didn't blast. With aluminum, you're actually rolling the fibers. So like, in the cast, you know, you, you basically have the, the fibers that stick out like this. When we're pouring that slurry over it, when we're doing that burnishing at the end, it's actually rolling those fibers over. So this is actually going to last longer and it's not going to tarnish like this side would if you were to sandblast it because those, those pores being rolled over are not gonna accept any oil deposits or anything of that nature. So this is gonna last a while. So my question is, would you consider putting any coatings on it? No, I wouldn't. All right. This completely negates any painting or anything of that nature that you wanna do afterwards. Actually, what you guys don't know is off camera, I actually spray painted this. <laughs> it literally looks like I did. It looks, it looks like it's a wet spray paint, dude. That's insane. But we can tell you, it's 
No, it's it's the it's bare good. metal. Yeah. It's just been polished so much that it looks this good. So for that, that uh, after finish blasting it, to deliver this look, the burnishing effect, you said how, how long was that? It probably took about another 10 minutes of just running over the part. This is the next stage of vapor finish here. I know, I threw in the vapor finish earlier. Oh, did you? I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, overall, dude, I love it. I, I want to see the actual piece onto the bike itself. Uh, actually, the customer was saying that uh, once everything is all set and done, he's going to go ahead and take it over here and show you guys, to be honest. Which so, I'm super excited yeah. to see. Because this thing's going to look excellent. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to see this finished results on everything, on the whole complete bike, well, I don't know when it's going to be yet, but let me tell you, the customer is going to bring it here. And again, make sure you guys are tagging us. If you're putting anything like this on social media, we'd love to see it and we, we would love to help promote your stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you guys do this as a hobby, if you do it as a, as a small time shop, or if you guys are completely into the remanufacturing industry, um, please tag us. We love to see work like this because, I mean, this is what keeps us going. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And make sure you guys check out the other videos on our channel. We post a lot of educational content that will actually teach you how to get excellent, excellent finishes just like this. So make sure you guys go and check that out so that you can replicate this at home, in your shop, or in your full-time business. Um, if you guys have any questions about how we're achieving these results or the machines that we're using to do this, you can reach us at 828-202-5563. Again, right. if you guys are ready to get this performance in your shop today, make sure you call us at 828-202-5563. This time we're kind of more in sync, but yeah. We're, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching then. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day. Peace.